This is a video lecture for the topic Love for Marriage and Family class. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Well, there are lots of different ideas about what is what love is. Some people think of it as an intense emotional attraction and yearning, while others think of it as just a biochemical response, hormones going crazy, and others think of it as something that uh, an attraction, an attraction, and a commitment and a compassion that deepens with time in a relationship between people. So let's just try to explore the theories about love that uh, different social scientists have uh, come up with. Some of the theories that you'll read about are Sternberg's triangular view, uh, the wheel theory, Lee's love styles. Uh, you compare, people compare romantic love versus realistic love. And uh, we can also look at how love relationships affect social networks. First, let's look at Sternberg's triangular view. Sternberg said that love is made up of three components. Intimacy, passion, and commitment. But any particular relationship might have different amounts of those three components. So if a relationship is missing intimacy, passion, and commitment, missing all three, then Sternberg called that non-love. The situation where two people share intimacy, and by intimacy we don't mean sex here, that falls under the passion category. So intimacy means uh, just closing to one another and depending on one another and so on. So when people have intimacy but without passion or commitment, that's what Sternberg called not love but liking. So you might have intimacy with a really close friend. But intimacy is important to complete love. So if someone, if a couple does not have intimacy and they have commitment, they're missing a big component of what love is all about. They may be committed to stick together and uh, to each other, but if they don't have intimacy and if they also don't have passion, then Sternberg called this empty love. Maybe the couple stays together for reasons other than intimacy and passion. But it's not as complete as love could be. Infatuation is a strong sexual attraction, but it doesn't include commitment or even intimacy. And it might be short-lived. Romantic love has a little more to it than infatuation. It has passion and intimacy. But it's not complete until, it all, until you also add commitment. So romantic love is passion and intimacy without commitment. When a couple has passion and they're committed, but they're not really friends, they don't have intimacy, that's what is called fatuous love. Companionate love is when two people are good friends and they're committed to each other, but don't have the passion element in their relationship. And finally, if a couple has all three, passion, intimacy and commitment, that's what Sternberg called consummate love. And I suspect that's the type that most people would like to have. Here's a test question for you. Tom and Marie have been happily married for five years. They've maintained a level of passion, intimacy, and compatibility in their relationship, despite the demands of two careers and a toddler. They view their marriage as serious commitment and expect to spend their lives together. According to Sternberg's triangular view of love, Tom and Marie's relationship will be characterized by what? Romantic love, consummate love, companionate love, or fatuous love? Okay, that's enough for one video. We'll have to make some more to finish this uh, slideshow.